It's a very odd mineral. It only can get formed in the ocean. The chlorine's coming from the volcanoes at the bottom of the ocean. The sodium is washing off the continents with the rainwater, and then in the ocean they complex to create salt. There's a lot of salt in the ocean, but it's only about three and a half percent. So what happens is a piece of the ocean gets isolated and over thousands of years evaporates. Wherever you have thick salt deposits, there's been an ocean that has dried up and left behind the salt. To get a meter thick bed of salt, you've got to evaporate about 60 meters of water. Salt deposits are fairly common in the Atacama Desert in Chile. Because the Andes are such a recent mountain building event, these salt deposits have stayed very close to the surface and it's therefore very inexpensive to get to them and move them because you can mine them with open pits instead of deep subterranean mining techniques. Believe it or not, it costs more to bring it from upstate New York than to bring it from Chile. The salt from Mexico is white, the salt from Chile is peach, Ireland's brown. Well, it all does the same thing. It's just different colors. The ships on average come here, they're about 55,000 metric tons. Usually it's not going out as fast as it is now. We'll stockpile it. The truck's going out. They might take 18 tons to 40 tons. The clamshell buckets hold about 30 tons. When you have two cranes, they do an average of 1,000 tons an hour. Days like today, we're loading it right into the trucks as it's coming off the ship. It's a little bizarre to see millions and millions of tons of salt being mined in order to spread it on the roads. You have to imagine water in the process of freezing. These little molecules in, in the liquid state, they're just randomly organized. And then as you get cold enough, the motions slow down to the point where the interactions between the molecules get strong enough that they start to organize themselves into a fixed crystal lattice, and that's freezing. Now imagine you have salt in that. So as you cool this thing down, the sodium and the chloride ions get in the way. You have to slow things down much further to get those intermolecule bonds strong enough that the water will crystallize and push the salt out of the way. Is it edible? I suppose it is. I have, I have never crossed my mind to break open a bag of rock salt and put it on my eggs in the morning. But unless you got very unlucky, my guess is it would be all right.